let's just to see if we can get the mortar to do the job that I want it to do. They are trying to come over the top again. The MG is firing nicely. This is why we do not connect this top layer because that way they still get absolutely murdered. But all these firing at them still remember. Now they're coming down here again. They are trying to take out these MG nests which is a nuisance. Look at this, this is being absolutely hammered. We're not needing to go into hand-to-hand -hand combat. This video is sponsored by Instant Gaming. Be sure to click on the link in the description to get this game for cheaper. Great Wall, the Western Front is currently available at £21.30 at the time of this recording. Brilliant game and is much cheaper than buying it from there. Make sure you get it. You can have the Victory Edition as well, which is also cheaper than there. The link is in the description. Be sure to press it before jumping on the website. You will be given a Steam key code if you are using Steam, which you can activate really easily. Be sure to check it out. And as always, thank you. Hello everybody and welcome back to another Moist Tea Gaming video where we're going to try and murder some more Germans with gas and bombs. Last episode, we were debating what to do simply because supplies are low, money is low, the enemy are superior and everything else in between. They are on elite mode, they have extra cash, extra supplies, all their men are supermen, and they also have more research points because they seem to have unlocked everything. We are, however, despite all this, tickling the enemy capital, so we just need to try and keep pushing. So what is the choice now? Do I keep actually pushing, or do I just tickle this a little bit more? Now, we've got 3,000 in cash and 885 in the supply bank. But I honestly think... Pushing, just to keep going pushing for a little bit more. I could, because this is obviously going to be slowing down a bit. I'm not going to be attacking from here anymore. To, the idea was to go around here and cut off the entire doodah just because it would be funny. Well, that isn't going to happen this time or anymore. So these British troops, I'm actually going to stick around and bolster our defences. The British troops are better at defence, simply because they have better range, better damage and everything else. However, when you are on the offensive, the French troops I like are on uh, are better because they have reduced supply. Meaning you can pump more of them in, which is sometimes necessary, especially when you're playing against supermen. So, we can just stick troops around here and have a dabble I may stick yeah I'm just gonna have to wriggle these troops around we're only gonna have one attacking region which we can also prod this as well just in case it might even be a case of prodding Kaiserslautern with the main attack force I do want this region Actually, I do want it. I might have to keep pushing for both. I want this region more because if we have both of these... Oh no, that won't work neither. I'm just thinking we could have a force here to bombard these and work our way around and cut off all the enemy just because that'll be funny. But it's getting that treacherous. We need more time, but time is not going to give us more things we have the upgraded bomb now so dealing with their tanks shouldn't be a problem we need planes though to do that and for planes we need money and for money we need more upgrades so we're gonna have to go down and start pumping some cash cash out it's gonna have to be the case we need it the only other way to get money is to stop spending it which means not attacking which i don't particularly like doing we also need to get our global supply up. Our attacking costs 100. We do want to keep tickling this though. So this is why I'm thinking going a little bit more the defensive. But keep prodding this and see what happens. So I'm going to manoeuvre these British troops around. 
and see what we can do. Right, yeah, I've moved them all, the British, even though it doesn't fully show it. Oh man, I forgot to put troops back there. Um, right, we'll have to ask a couple of these Frenchmen to go back up here. Now well, that is a bit of a mistake. Not gonna lie, I may have misclicked it. But regardless, everywhere else we now, we should have troops. Could even stick these two Belgians in there. We'll do it next time, in the next turn. But we do have, uh, there are troops there, but for some reason it doesn't want to show it. But British troops, as I was saying now, all the way down here up to Verdun. All of it. British, Commonwealth and Belgian forces. French is now all the way down here. We have actually got two juicy stacks of French now. Which we could potentially attack from. This should reduce our costs. As these cost less to fly and things. The Attention. French. Where have they gone? No, not you. We'll go for the elite. We'll stick an elite in there as well. We're also using the French forces just to defend these little areas as well. We should be fine. Should be. Emphasis on that. Yeah, we should be good. So we're going to try and take Kaiserslautern. We're going to gradually start bombing Kreisnack as well. Keep those stars down on it. Stop it from regenerating. Tech-wise, we're going to start getting some more money in just to help us. We're not going to go any major offensives unless the opportunity presents itself. This over here is just going to be a bombardment for a couple of turns until we have this. So that is more cash there and then even more cash here. It would be good if we could introduce this as well. The gold reserves to supply ratio to 40%. That means buying reserves is cheaper, but we'll see. Regardless, let's have a prod at Kreisnack. Might even be able to take out some tanks. I think I may have gone a little bit mad, but I've put 15 artillery, heavy artilleries down. With the single goal of bombing them to death. That is all I'm going to do this entire match. Artillery them. Get rid of that balloon. And then just start smashing them. Three per trench. Should do the trick. This is going to be nasty. See if two takes out these. Enemy planes are incoming. That is two fighter aircraft. We do have our own fighters. We can put our balloon down. Quickly before they approach. We well, know the enemy are here so we can still bombard them. They're bringing more planes in. No, I need to bring more planes in. Their planes are also superior, so I need to double what they bring in, pretty much. Smash the lot. So I think the balloon can go back up again. I'll have to keep an eye on it. Excellent, excellent. They've only got two more in the air. Don't go for it, don't go for it. I can't put it down. Come on aircraft, do your job. They are hurting it, that's good. Hopefully this one doesn't do the same. I think it might be going for it. Yeah, I'm going to have to put it down. Oh, that was an air superiority mission, so we're all good. This balloon still hasn't gone down, so we'll get some more on it. Three more, then we can murder some troops that are probably going to be over here as well. Oh no, not gas. Don't need gas in this one, we're just bombarding them to death. 
Get that balloon back up, the skies are now clear. And here are some more troops. Try and get these more standard troops dealt with. Constant bombardment. As long as we don't inter eat into our global supply, we should be good. These are just going to be constant. More enemy planes. They may have gone for the... I'm not too sure, actually. They may not have gone for the balloon. Keep an eye on their destination. I'm maybe going for it now. I'm going to have to put that down. I think they were going for it. It's hard to say. All oh, my planes are casually floating around doing silly things. We now have more enemy planes. That is the bomber they've brought in. Get some more planes in. I'm pretty sure there's some units here that we can murder. I need that plane back in the sky. That's the enemy bomber. We're shooting our placements. Not very nice. We can stick our balloon back up in the air again. They may be sending this out in reaction to the artillery. There goes down their plane. Excellent. Lovely jubbly. Let's keep the bombardment going. This will only end in a stalemate, but that's fine. It won't actually cost me anything apart from a tiny bit of supply. Which I'm more than happy to part with. Stronger units on the game that they've just brought in as well. Plenty of conscript units here. Look at that, just obliterated. There'll be a lot of holes in this by the end. Wondering if we would have taken out a couple of their aircraft battalions now. That would be absolutely really nice. On the campaign map. Give us some more of these. They are somehow still alive. Oh, that's not an advanced firing trench. We've set them home anyway. Try and murder as many of them as we can. Like that. I think we have... What was it? We have a level 2... Supply depot here, which I do believe grants 800. So, really, I don't want to eat into any more supply. So, I'm just going to actually stop the bombardment shortly. At least zoom what's going on. They may throw a few more men at us yet. Like these here. I'm not too sure what they're doing. They're currently being hit by the machine gun just about. I'm going to call for a ceasefire. I don't want to eat into my current supply. We would have cost them some money. Let's have a look. Well, they accept it anyway. See what we got from that bombardment. 
We murdered four and a half thousand. Wasn't too bad. It cost us more fighter aircraft than anything. We did eliminate some of theirs though. Was it worth it? Yes, because it keeps them stars down on the capital. Everybody's national will went up for that one. Yeah, we, we need more supplies. That keeps that busy. Let's have another look. Supplies we have. I oh, know it's only 600. Oh, okay, we only have 600 that we could take from the global supply at these. I thought it was more because of the improved building. But because we haven't actually unlocked that in our own technology, we can't utilize it. That makes sense. So, I could have gone for a little bit longer, but it doesn't really matter. Here. Oh, no. Oh, the second one is 600. The first one's 400. I've got my numbers mixed up. We're going to want an airfield here anyway. We're going to want to get some aircraft in. Might not be worth it at this moment with only two there, I suppose, though. Good to end the turn, see if we can recuperate some of our monies. The enemy are probably going to go for a prod. Yep. In Haysbrook, interesting. Here we go. Right, this is what I've had to do. Full defensive of the central ping. Now, I don't want to use up the supplies in the global bank. So the other way that I'm going to do that is by not going mental. I only have this one core available to me as well. So this is everybody that we currently possibly could ever get. So I'm going to bring these units actually further back into here because I've just realised... We have two mortars available to us. Two at the back, and these two MGs up at the front. So we should be good. This is also a bit of a test for the defensive network that has never really been strained. So we shall see. Looking at it a little bit closer, we've got this lot interconnected. So these are the reserves for anyone and anywhere to be flung into any of that forward bit if need be. So if this part breaks, we can funnel units into here and shuffle them along that way, and same vice versa. Ready your weapon. The field mortars, they will cover anybody if coming. any of this breaks or collapses. The field mortars will start blowing them up inside our trenches, making sure that we don't actually need to fight for the trenches back themselves. Then we also have the MGs which cover a very wide area. Now this only works if the enemy don't blow the damn things up. So we will see. It looks like they're going for B first, so I'm expecting a lot of resistance from that direction. So I'm going to bring this troop over here, and you know what? They do it rather quickly. I accidentally misclicked them again, but they're going. They move a lot better in these just in this, you can manoeuvre things around a lot better. Now, having two in does not give you more firepower. Only one can go on the firing step. And the enemy are probably going to try an artillery us, but they may not have that opportunity, given that everything is that far back down here. So we'll see in a moment what the enemy decide to do. We've just taken B, so they're probably going to have a gander right about now. Here we go. Now, is this just going to be a probe, or is this going to be something serious? The MG won't fire until they get pretty close on this flank. We do have plenty of cover down here, though. Here comes the suppression. Don't know why they've got a heavy arty here, but that's the... Oh, they've got rolling barrage! That changes quite a lot. We could even just let them in. They're clearly going to get there. I'd rather not get in hand to hand if I can help it. So just to see if we can get the mortar to do the job that I want it to do. They are trying to come over the top again. The MG is firing nicely. This is why we do not connect this top layer because that way they still get absolutely murdered. But all these firing at them still, remember. 
Now they're coming down here again. They are trying to take out these MG nests, which is a nuisance. Look at this. This is being absolutely hammered. We're not needing to go into hand-to-hand -hand combat. Mortars should deal with them. Whether they deal enough damage or not is questionable. But it does look like the enemy are coming for another gander at all sides. Rolling barraging it all the way. Come on, mortar. What are you shooting at? Oh, they are still doing it. Remember, these are the elite, elite troops, so they are quite resistant. I'm going for another rolling barrage. Come on, mortars. Are they only suppressing them in there? I can take manual control of these. I can't quite remember how to do it. I'll have to figure it out, but either way, the Germans aren't wanting to go much further than what they already have. Just do not want to lose this inner centre piece. That's where we start having trouble. Remember, this is on Elite, so they are extremely difficult to actually deal with. How do you do these manually? Let me find out. I can find it. So if we plunk it right there even, let's just see what happens. It only seems to suppress them. That's quite infuriating. They are going for another rolling barrage. We'll just have to leave them to it. Maybe these mortars don't do what I thought they did. In, in they come again. We're doing alright so far. We just need to hold. We don't necessarily need to push them out. Because we can still shoot at them quite rigorously. Just wait, we're waiting for them now to clear out the others. I can't believe these aren't being damaged by these mortars. These can destroy tanks happily. Yeah, you're telling me that they can't damage these. That is infuriating. There was a patch today, so maybe that is to do with it. We're even going for smoke now. This is interesting. It's good to see what the AI likes to do sometimes. Still have one active MG. Try and get them out in the open then. Send them a present, boys. Well, they don't like that. Here we go. Nice. Keep trying to do them, but I think that might be a bug because they're not causing any damage to them at all. Which isn't right. When you're running around their trenches, you get hammered by these things and they rip you to bits. Now that's quite infuriating, but you can see what would be happening. These would just be getting decimated. These are thinking that they're struggling a little bit now. If we could swap these with the other bunch. And have these on the firing trench piece itself. While we wait for more enemies. Oh, they're coming again. We're doing all right. Swap them about. Get the healthy squad on the... Oh, look, there we go. Ceasefire. They've given up. Excellent. The update may have interfered with the mortars. I'm not sure what the update was. I'm probably going to have to have a look. Here we go. The enemy lost four, maybe 5,000. Whereas we only lost seven. Cost-wise, nothing significant. If anything, it's benefited them because oh, they'll just get their supply back that they used to attack. Not that they need any more supply because they have so much of it anyway. After all that, apparently, we got some supply. Excellent. So nothing really happened there, so that's happy. They're coming at us again. 
at Luinville. It'll be a similar thing. Let's have a dabble. I'm actually going to leave this episode here. So you'll have to wait until next time to see how this turns out. Thank you very much for tuning in. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.